Look at me, 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 look at me now. Fuck, are you kidding me? You're my All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Started here, round one is underway, and we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is, and this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Effective punch there by the Korean Super Bowl. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Boy, Ty Club. Notice the drive. Look at how they drive the knee right into the midsection. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early goals. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Big elbow there, Lance. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Oh, and he gets tagged. Nice combination there. And might not be a bad idea for the opposition to just tweak that head off yeah. the center line. He was landing one before. Now he's throwing everything in combination. And they're all landing. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, Superman punches true. Stuff to take down, no problem. Oh, it looked like that left hand found the target. Found the target as it has on so many occasions tonight. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Oh, and he caught the kick. Nice hook there by the Korean Super Bowl. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Ooh, what a punch. Another leg kick in DC. Now we're seeing visible damage as that leg starts to redden up. And now you start to see the damage. And now you start to see the limping of the opponent. Watch as he gets kicked in the leg, he's turning away. He can't even get any pressure on his front leg anymore. He is beat up. That leg has been tenderized by this young man. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? He lands a big knee to the body. And now he's got that tight clinch. Punch to the body is blocked. Boy, tight plump. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Ooh. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Visibly limping here. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Ooh, what a punch. 
He blocks the punch. Twenty seconds left. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Ten seconds. Big kick land. Round two next. Well, what a round it was, and how about that flying Superman punch at the end of the round? Not a lot of fighters will try it. He did, he executed. And it worked, right? No discouragement from his opponent to make him not try it. Why not try it? It's working, so why not try it again? If his opponent isn't careful, he will get knocked out and be on a highlight reel for the rest of time. All right, second round now underway. I'm no analyst, but a little bit of a feeling out process now. And that's a part of being in the octagon with someone that's so skilled. You cannot just go after him guns and blazing. Both of these young men are trying to find the right moment to attack. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Hook shot attempt to the head here instead. It's blocked by Choi. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Really timing his shots nicely. And there is he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. He's mixing up his target. He's throwing kicks. He's throwing punches. Punch coming. It's blocked. Nice. Back and forth we go. Superman punch lands. Talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Big head kick land. Straight punch land. Oh, and he caught the kick. Just out of range with that right hook. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Big leg kick land. And he landed the right hand there. And they separate. Right at the elbow, body kick land. Ooh, big shot man. Oh, Superman punch. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. So there it is. Longer reach paying dividends as he counters with a punch. Land. Oh, Superman punch! Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. 
Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's going to go over the top, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low and you're right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Outstanding kick there by Short. Pretty good right hand. Boom. Straight left hand. Wow! He's hurt bad. Oh! Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked. The hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Oh, that's a nice strike. Ten seconds remain in round two. In the books. All right, there's the end of the round, and you've got to be in a serious flow to not just execute that Superman punch, but to even attempt it. To even try it, you got to be really in your rhythm. Everything has to be going perfectly, as we saw in the lead-up to that attack. All right, pretty good back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets on. I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay it on the line as we start to push close to the end of the fight. He's, he's limping now. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. Another straight left. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off of him by blocking all these attacks. They continue to exchange. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down the scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. So once again, losing on that long reach as he counters effectively with a jab to the head. Oh! He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands and he's doing a... Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Unable to connect with the right. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie, and they separate. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Punch his block. Plus right hand is true. Right. Okay. Okay. right hook attempt, that's a miss. Lanza, glancing right hand upstairs. Connects with a right hand, pretty good punch that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Well, you gotta think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's been a striking play. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and his opponent isn't doing much to try and deter him and really mess with the game plan. What a punch. He lands the head kick. That one, that one, he's just a loose hurt. Oh! He didn't like that left hand. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. If you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend, and the referee's going to stop. Oh, 
Side control now. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these trains. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on it. He's going to attack on bar here. He might get a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. Submission defense there. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options, because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestler stand-up. Get to your knees, post your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hooks. But get to your hands, stand up, fight the hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free-flowing than a half guard in the side control. Because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. His legs are just free. So you have more freedom to use yours. All right, a lot of highlights from which to choose over those previous five minutes, DC. Let's take a look at the replay. Yeah, and for all the good that he did in that round, it was the punching that really led to him really taking control of the fight. He did a great job finding his shot over and over again. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw. Oh! Beautiful diving strike land. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. And really starting to make these shots count. Back to the feet. Just out of range with the big right hand. Nice straight punch. Good series. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He got him. Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 48 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by...